last night I was supposed to leave at 825 to fly a turn which is you just turn around and come back home if you guys don't know that already and um, crew scheduling called me twice to delay my flight twice so we didn't actually end up leaving until 1030 so by that time there was no way for us to make it home so I had to stay the night in my in the layover city and now I'm going home today and yeah I end up having an overnight when I had only planned to go to work and come home I got room service but I paid too much for this to not take it with me so I need to go down and get a to-go box so I'm waiting for my to-go box and then we're gonna go to the airport a little bit early so I'm kind of restless I just want to go home um, yeah, so because I had to overnight in this trip, sorry, I just got a burrito. Part. I had to overnight on this trip, it made me illegal for my next trip. So you have to have a certain amount of hours of rest in order to continue flying because obviously that's not healthy or safe for anyone you to be exhausted. So I won't have enough hours of rest, so I got pulled for my next trip. And so that pretty much leaves me with, what is today? Wednesday. Four days off now, which, whatever. I was planning on working more than that this month, but I'm just going to take the blessings as they come and kind of just hang out here. So I am at the gate and I'm waiting for a gate agent to get here. I am deadheading crew today, so I'm not actually working the flight. I'm just catching a ride home and getting paid to do it. So um, I'm just waiting. I'm tired and I just want to go home. So I got my window seat. I'm on the plane. So this flight is pretty short. It's a little bit over an hour, like an hour and a half. So I won't be on here for long and I'm just gonna relax and have a good time. So I like to write, so I'm just gonna use this opportunity to write about my day. For those of you who are curious about this job and are just watching because you don't really understand a lot, um so Generally, in general, what happened is that I got reassigned um, from what I was originally supposed to do. And when you have a reassignment, the possibilities are endless. And sometimes they can be really great. And sometimes they are not so great. So, like today, um, on my schedule, it said that I am um, going back to base. So, going back home. However, if anything went haywire or anything goes wrong or say there's a flight going to LA but the plane's late and those flight attendants are coming from Chicago and the plane is leaving from here that goes to LA and those flight attendants will make it they'll pull flight attendants whoever is available to make sure that that flight leaves on time which could have happened for me but this day is gone pretty smoothly, so that's kind of the thing with reassignments. They can go really well. Like, you know, today is super easy. I'm not working, but it also could be like. Well, it'll be. She really did try to. It could be anything they want you to do. Let's see. I did get a reassignment one time, and I got an extra trip for her in London Heathrow. Now that's that's a good reason. It's not funny, honey. As their umbrellas out, and it's so funny. But I don't even remember the last time we got rain in California, so I'm just gonna enjoy all of this lovely rain.